Got the baddest bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Good morning, good morning. Why do I feel like my lash? Like, I know I like the individual look, like the cat eye. My cat eyes always give, though, by the way. But I just feel like I just put my lashes on, so. Anyways, y'all, good morning. Um, I literally just got back from New York yesterday morning. So, yesterday, I was asleep for most of the day. Like, and I'm still kind of tired. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm still a little tired, but... Um, today I'm basically just trying to get back on track, get back refocused and kind of map out the whole week. If you don't know already, I am getting ready for my launch for Shop the Body Brand and oh my god y'all, it's like, okay, so I got the tags. Well, yeah, I have the tags, I have the, um, thank you cards and I have the tags. Only problem I'm having is the labels. It's like nobody can make me labels in a certain period of time and I'm gonna write this girl because she's located in Atlanta too and I'm gonna see if she could do I hit her up once. She responded to me. I responded back. She did not write me back so I'm just um I'm gonna hit her up again to see what's up because I need them labels y'all. I think it's so tacky when you buy clothes from somebody and the tag says a whole different company like literally if it's something that i don't know i don't want to make no excuse for it i don't want to make no excuse for it i hate that y'all i hate it so um i don't know y'all i'm kind of just worried but we're going to see what we could do make the best out of it but i'm panicking y'all like i really 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 need this to work out like i really i'm trying to do everything i can to make sure that you know this launch is as good as possible for the time that we're in right now you know so anyways other than that that's a little bit of that i don't even say hey to y'all hey cousins hey y'all welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog the difference is this is not going to be a weekly vlog although the things from this vlog may be included into in this week's weekly vlog um but i just wanted to give y'all many vlogs like in between the week because i realized i only post um weekly vlogs one time a week and i don't feel like that's enough i feel like y'all deserve more content you know stuff like that i'm just trying to get more organized with everything so i can make time to get these things done so um, right now, about to get ready to go to the gym. Um, after, um, I'm going to get lunch with the girls. I'm going to get some lunch. We're going to come back and we have to lock in. I do have to go grocery shopping, but I'm not going to go crazy because I'm going to Houston. So today is the 26th. 2nd or 3rd? Today's the 23rd. I leave for Houston on the 26th. So, yes, I just came back from New York yesterday, and then I'm going to Houston on the 26th. So, I'm not going to go crazy grocery shopping because I think I'm going to be going for, like, three days, and I don't want food just sitting in the fridge for three days. So, I'm going to try to just do what I can, but I need a little something, something. So, um, yeah, we about to knock this out real quick and go on about our day. So, let's go, y'all. Follow me. So, I am sitting here. Usually when I, like, be doing my hair and stuff, when I do my hair, but when I'm doing anything, like, in the morning, um, I like to watch videos and, like, watch people talk, interviews, whatever the case may be. By the way, the girl who, um, put everybody onto this hat when you are going to sleep with long hair and don't want it to get messed up and crinkle, this was one of the best things I ever did. One of the best things I ever did. I was sleeping crazy. I wrapped it up on my bonnet, and I shouldn't have to straighten it too much. Only reason why I'm really straightening it before the gym is, like I said, I got somewhere to go after. So, um, I'm not going to act like I wouldn't touch up my hair any other time either, but that's just what we're doing right now. Anyway, so right now I'm watching a, um, an interview. Oh, my God. My hair looks a little crazy. I mean, it's probably going to be the last day I'm wearing this anyway, so it's okay. The last day or two, maybe. Um, so, basically, it's about... A teacher who slept with her student she's saying oh that's not her student it doesn't matter you slept with a student in the school that you're teaching you slept with a student period actually that's mad crazy and she got the nerve to sue him because he exposed their sex tape girl I get how that's an invasion of privacy and I get how that's a crazy you know type of situation girl you slept with a minor not only that you slept with a student that you slept with a student. You slept with a student and got the nerve to want to sue him. You're supposed to be in jail. Ooh, see, I hate. You see all that dirt build up? Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. I don't even have time to like really clean it off or nothing. And I'm gonna show y'all the back, like the full back of the hair too. I'm gonna have to straighten it a little bit, but for the most part, we don't have to do too much. But yeah, like you slept with a damn student. Like, are you crazy? Like, if she's really over there, she's really over there trying to justify it. And, oh, that's an invasion of privacy, talking back to his mother. 
like, oh, um, if this happened to your daughter, it would be an invasion of privacy because the mother was like, oh, um, how would you feel if I slept with your 17 year old son? And she was like, oh, I'm not it being an invasion of privacy. Like she didn't, did not, like she didn't, wasn't trying to, you know? And I'm just like, that is so weird. Like what makes a teacher say, out of all the men, especially all the, the male teachers, y'all know how thirsty the male teachers be sometimes. I'm not trying to say it's all of them. I don't want to do that. But sometimes for the most part, like they be a little thirsty. And they be having like little, um, they be having little relationships too. Like the staff, the teachers and stuff like that. Like y'all not low, we be knowing. We be knowing. I've been out of school for, I've been out of high school since 2015. I be knowing, okay? I be knowing. I went to two different high schools. I've been in a few middle schools. I know how it go. Even summer camp. Y'all know about summer camp. That's really like one of those things. So it's just kind of like, out of all the male staff, you decide to do it with a student? You don't have no man in your life that you had to get have relations to a student and she was the initiator like of course he was drunk or whatever which he shouldn't have been and she really when he got there she made him come in the room well she didn't make him do anything but she was basically the initiator like look let's go in the room let's do this let's do that like you're sick you're sick and I'm they are on the show making little jokes about it and stuff like that it's nothing like that funny because if that was a man sleeping with an underage um, student, a, a woman, oh, he would have been in jail. He would have been in jail. And I hate the double standard when it comes to certain things. Like, certain double standards is still not okay, but it's kind of more, like, understandable. Oh, he came over, and they was like, oh, so you were, you, they was like, who let who into the room first? Like, how did that happen? And he was like, the little boy was like, she did. And when he, when Dr. Phil asked her, she was like, I mean, we wound up in a room, right? Girl, girl, you not, oh, if I was that mother, I can't imagine how overprotective I'm going to be over my kids because what, that is crazy. There's some real sick individuals out here. This is not supposed to be a safe place. You're supposed to feel 100% safe with your kids being in school and you know, stuff like that. And then you got ladies in there plotting on them. That's why it's like women, I'm not saying it can't happen to like, all male students i'm not saying that but when you have a, a son that's i guess more older and mature looking i guess not trying to make an excuse for it but i'm just saying it for what it is he's a little bit he looks a little bit older you know he might be popular the ladies might like him y'all i'm finished doing my hair by the way that was quick but yeah he's a little bit older he's attractive you know he's handsome popular whatever the case may be you gotta stay in his life because it don't matter how old he looks or whatever the case may be he's still a minor and you have to protect your kids because a lot of these kids a lot of men especially black men have stories about how they have sex with older women ask any man you know right now how old is the oldest woman that you had sex with and how old were you when you did it and when you were underage ask them when you were underage what was the age of the oldest woman you had sex with i guarantee you they have a story i'm not saying every man but it's very popular very popular um i'm about to just tie my hair back up this is how i like to tie my hair up now you know if i'm doing something but my hair is out like i still want it to kind of be out in a way um i just tie it like this and just let the hair in the back do its thing um i don't know because i wear my bonnet a lot and i'm kind of trying to parlay a little bit more cute in a way like, I'm trying to be a little bit more, I can't explain it, but relax. Um, this is just more doable for me. And my hair is not in my way. You know, I still feel comfortable. I can still do what I need to do. And I'm, I'm good. I think I'm going to be using that mat from downstairs today because I don't feel like carrying all that extra stuff. So, this is how it looks in the back. Bow, bow, bow. I might take this wig to Houston with me, though because i didn't get no pictures but anyways y'all yeah that was real sick but we out to the gym um i'm watching it right now and i'm gonna watch the whole episode while i'm working out so i'm gonna keep y'all updated about what's going on i'm gonna link the episode down below so y'all can watch it it's really sick but y'all know i like to watch certain things just for perspective just not even perspective but i just like to i like watching murder shows i like watching dr phil episodes like you know controversial stuff that's me
Um, I feel like I literally, my closet can't even fit. I don't know how many more. I have literally four more of these coming. So four more of these. I got a box in there. I got a bigger box in there. I got all that stuff in there. I got all that stuff. So I'm trying to see how, this better be in plastic. I'm trying to see how exactly I'm going to be able to um, have like a set place for the inventory and stuff like that. Because it's just like, uh, I don't know, like, I got, I just got to rearrange my space. That's about it. But yeah, so the brown set, if you are unsure what set that is, I'll put it on the screen if you're wearing it. And um, it just came in the mail, y'all. But I just got to repackage it. I do have to open this, open each and every single one to make sure, like, you know, just to make sure it's no, um, what you call it. It's no um, flaws, holes, like, you know, stuff like that. So don't be thinking I'm in here just tossing y'all clothes around or nothing like that. I'm just making sure y'all good, okay? Making sure y'all good. So let me show y'all this real quick. My friend should be here any minute. So we are going to get brunch. We going to uh, Magiano's or Magiano's, however you pronounce it. Um, that's one of our corn spots. They got nice drinks. You know, the food is okay. It's an Italian restaurant. And I like my soul food, y'all, but, you know, Mac, y'all know if you, you want to go, you want to talk, you want to have a meeting. It's very quiet in there with, like, a taste of music. It's not too much. It's very, you know, calm and chill. Um, you do kind of, I don't want to say you got to dress up. You don't have to dress up, but that's what the people be giving in there. But we just going in and do whatever. And I'm not changing. I'll probably put on some boots, but I'm not changing. I'm not changing. So, let me see. So, we got the large. Um, I just be having to count it. So we got a large, a small, uh, a small, small, large, um, medium. Okay. So just to start off, um, I wanted to get in three, three smalls, two mediums, and two larges. I started with small because I'm just not opening. I don't have no doubts that I'm not. I don't have a doubt that I'm going to sell out. I don't feel like I'm not gonna sell out, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm just starting. So once the demand gets higher, that's when the supply will also get higher. So I'm just keeping it cute for right now. But the inventory is in y'all. Um, and I'm very excited, y'all. I'm very excited. I gotta show y'all. Let me show y'all the rest of everything I got. Hold on. All right, y'all. So don't mind the mess. These are wigs I have to wash, so do not mind these, chow. But look, so I have. I have these dresses right here. I think these are the pink Valentine's Day dresses, which that's a whole nother story I'm gonna have to tell y'all about. Um, we have this whole box of inventory. Like, I'm not even about to open this whole thing, but that's this outfit. So, I'm gonna put it on the screen what outfits these are. I didn't take official pictures of them, but I'll just show y'all. And then I have more of that set because I know y'all gonna like it. So, I ordered. This is what I probably have the most of, to be honest. This set right here. Um... And I'm just trying to basically, I'm just trying to see how exactly I'm going to model these outfits because, 
um i don't think it's gonna be too hard like i don't want to overthink it and like mess everything up but you know i do want to execute it properly so i'm just trying to see like you know what it's gonna give and um how i should go about it so i think that's gonna be my main focus but i really want to dress down like i really want to put that shit on for real so we're gonna see i gotta get some accessories um i already got boots to go with the outfits i'm gonna show y'all when i come back because i know i'm not gonna have time the outfit has to be made the outfit has to be made period so yeah that's pretty much what i got going on for right now but i'm about to take this off so we could go and get a bite y'all i'm hungry i'm not even gonna say a lot of y'all i'm starving so um we about to go get some food real quick Use, uh, how do you use her? She's a hanger. <laughs> She's a what? A hanger. <laughs> Isaiah, why you look so dark skin? Where is the light? Put up the saturation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my camera, y'all. I think because the light is flashing in the car, but I'm back with my nudies. Did y'all miss me? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do what? I had a booger. Ew. <laughs> Did my nudies miss me a while? Going for two minutes. Y'all was the one feeding the call me on the touch though. So y'all didn't miss me. This is my friend's never. Yeah, we me. did want to link yesterday, so we did miss you. Y'all somebody getting arrested. No, it's the brick, the little truck. The money truck. The money truck? Suddenly my car just broke down. Mm -hmm. Right next to me. First of all, no. <laughs> Cause we always had to go to places near you. You drove? Yeah. Why? Girl, the hairstyle has been in like what? Shut up, girl. It's a little like you know I gotta <laughs> touch her like switch it up. Look. What? Like girl, the rubber band popped. It. Take it out. <laughs> She's still very it's much. It's really cute though. I it is. Cute. I wanted. I didn't get no pictures y'all. I gotta probably wear this shit again. Everything was just ghetto. They were shooting like regular mm -hmm. shit though. The it was lit. A shootout. I don't love a shootout, but if a shootout occurs, then what am I to do? I don't got a blicky. I've never been to this Maggie. For real? Oh, it's cute. It is. It's better than nothing. Like is it better than? I kind of get the vibe. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing because this one don't got an upstairs. Let's talk about how it looks. That's they do have did upstairs. I, did in I? This one. Um, oh, it's right there. I was about to say. Paris. They said, do have upstairs. But nobody goes upstairs. Right. I mean. I like this one better. I don't know why. I just do. Because this is a stomping. Me and her no, it's a stomping, but it's just Relax. something about you the other one. Oh, <laughs> Not all. This right here, the mid ballet, you in the front. Like, okay. The other one doesn't ballet. <laughs> they don't ballet. Because the parking is right there. Where? Right in front of the building. In the ghetto? Oh, I don't live in the ghetto. She loves. You do. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mama. it's so early, and they We're just want to. Yeah. <laughs> he just want to be in the camera because he look good, y'all. He don't never sit in the middle seat. Right, get behind. Like you don't never sit in the middle. <laughs> you want to be seen so what bad. Like, I just came from Dubai. Oh my god, you, was you happy seeing me perform? No, I wasn't. Y'all are so uh, I know you want to be. Michelle couldn't make it. She didn't. <laughs> so, oh, Paris and all these sharp turns. Why? I am a defensive driver. No, bitch, you are the def you're the offense. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really drive crazy? Yes. yes. No, I bitch. Don't. I feel like they're just saying that because y'all went. Oh my god, when you be drinking, I'm oh, scared for drinks, my life. So we are crash. God forbid. God forbid. Where's the valve? Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be wearing Where is it. I would just. I'm about to just park. I'm not even about to carry out parking only. Oh, well, they took the sign. <laughs> huh? yeah, okay. Y'all ready? Y'all think I'll get penalized? No, the sign right there. Um, but like, I ain't see it. What if they put it? <laughs> you could be in their way for your food. Right? Uh huh. A few moments later. These girls is fighting for the front seat. <laughs> like, have some class. Okay, I sat there. It's my day. Have yeah. some class. You're okay. drunk and looking dumb. But <laughs> 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 These girls can't even have a lemonia. <laughs> like, have some decor. That's why they wanted to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me tell y'all something. something oh, <clears throat> are the lips giving chat? I may have a little one. Can I have? I have some lip gloss. You want some lip gloss? Never. Girl, I don't have no Vaseline. Mine. <laughs> 
These girls wanted to come to Maggie's because they know y'all gonna get drunk. Indeed. On a budget. <laughs> On a budget. <laughs> well, now she's trying to look right at the face. Awesome. <laughs> uh oh. I'm teaching the girls how to have some decor. Mm. Mm. Which I give. Like, y'all lucky the camera. Story. That's crazy. Y'all want a gun? Hey, oh, yes. Yeah. Give me another piece and I'll see my nigga later. Relax, Claude. So give me an extra. You need two. I'm seeing my nigga later. I'll see my man later. That's the only reason why. Need it for now. <laughs> she won't have a now or later. <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair. What is wrong with you? My nose is big. What's your line? My name is Mrs. Puff. Relax. He been eating you all day. I'm dry, but I don't want no beef. He been eating you all day. I'm tired of squiggling with the Krabby Patty. You know. Relax, Squid. Y'all. This bitch y'all just fucking hanging back here for three years. That's right. Like, bitch, throw the box. Put the box in there. Relax. Oh. I get special treat. Bro. And that's why y'all bitches really mad. Because she's a land rover. Okay. Make it a little lighter. Oh, it's in the time. Yes, please. Yeah. I appreciate you helping me. Oh, absolutely no. not. <laughs> this is absolutely not. So y'all, I'm back in the house, and so we had our time, y'all. I'm so mad I had to vlog mainly off my phone. That was so annoying, but we had to do what it do, baby. Ah. But anyways, um, yeah, y'all, I had enough drinks for today. I had enough um food for today. I'm about to eat real good, yeah. Um, I just got in the house not too long ago. I had to wrap my hair up, chow, I don't know. But I feel like I've been overlapping my drunkness. I don't know what it was given, but I had fun with my girls today. I had fun with Isaiah and Bree, of course. I had fun with my girls. Hey, baby, we chopped it up. Had a great time, y'all. We had a time. Every time me and Tay link up, though, it's always a time. We really always got stories. Like, y'all just got to be there. Sometimes I don't put my camera out because y'all know me. Like, I'm not quick to put my camera out. But when I do catch footage, y'all know I'm catching it. So y'all gotta see and y'all gotta go on Tay channel catch her and think she be recording too. So y'all gotta go check my girl out and see what she is posting and all that. Like, yeah. Anyways, though, um, I am tired. I'm not even gonna lie. It's only 11.07, almost 11.08 my birthday. And um, I am about to go to sleep for the night. I am done. I need to wake up early. I just, as y'all seen, I went to the gym earlier. So I feel like, I feel very accomplished. I feel like I came back home and I got straight to it. Dude, I feel like I kind of could have went harder in my workout today, though. Like, I feel like I could have did way more, but I feel like I did enough, too, at the same time. Like, it's weird. But, anyways, y'all, tomorrow, um, I have to show y'all a few things. I will show y'all tonight, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really tired, so I'm more than likely going to show y'all tomorrow, like, the behind the scenes. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all, so... I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. So y'all, literally, I'm gonna be in Houston in less than 48 hours. 48 hours, I'm gonna be in Houston. So tomorrow we'll be doing the same thing we did barely last week. Um, I gotta go find a top for the <clears throat> for the um, top outfit I got. And um, I don't know, um, what else do I have to do tomorrow? I think that's it besides like get some work done. I gotta pack, probably do I don't even think I gotta do that much laundry because I just did laundry, so I don't think it's gonna be a lot for me. I really just gotta pack. But, um, 
here right now. I didn't get no pictures in this hair. I didn't get no pictures. I got a good video. Y'all see, like, it's getting dirty. Like, so I'm gonna have to do this all over again. So I just wanted to show y'all something before I do it. So it's actually gonna be two wigs that I'm gonna be wearing in Houston. Let me show y'all. So I'm gonna do this chocolate wig right here. This chocolate wig was so cute. So cute. But this chocolate wig was so cute. But um, I'm going to be doing like some crazy layers. Like the layers are going to be insane. But I don't know if I want to do. Oh, I don't know which hair look I want to do first. Like I'm only going to be there from Thursday to Sunday. So I know I can do the first two days one look. And then um, this look. I'll probably do this look last to be on. I might do this look last. But I think it might go better. I have two outfits to wear, right? So... Boom. Let me show y'all the outfits that I got to wear, right? Let me just show y'all real quick. Okay, so boom, right? So we got these cute boots, okay? We got these cute gold boots with this dress, brown dress with the, the one with the sleeves. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. I'm going to put the picture somewhere over here. So boom, got these two together. I think that's going to be so fire, right? I don't even want to put the clothes down. And then I got the taupe skirt. Now that I think about it, should I have gotten a lighter pair of boots? I'm wearing a lot of browns, y'all. It's a lot of browns. But y'all know this set. So this cute set. And then I got these nice ass brown Daha boots from um, Fashion Nova. Why do they look so wrinkled? I had them crushed in the back. From Fashion Nova all the way down. But this is such a mini skirt. This comes all the way on my thighs. And I'm short. So it's like, you know. Um, I hope it looks good together. I don't see why I wouldn't. I think these two colors complement each other because although this is like kind of an army greenish a little bit it's also brown so i think the brown are complimented and then i got these shades Ooh. yeah got these cute shades to wear with it but damn my hair is gonna be brown let me see something y'all because i feel like i'm so brown gold like they're like girl you don't got no other colors or nothing i'm sorry so my hair is gonna be brown my boots gonna be brown oh this is gonna be cute brown hair brown boots skirt glasses all i need is i would photoshop the color because i have a brown bag like my brown balenciaga bag that y'all know i wear it down but it don't really match it's like that one the balenciaga bag is like more of an oil burnish this is a chocolate chocolate so um i don't know if i'm gonna do it together i guess we'll see but i think those will look really cute and then the gold is like i feel like if i would have some nice gold shades in a go bag maybe or maybe no shades in a go bag that'll go maybe i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying to figure it out so that's what i got going on right now but this is gonna look so cute Whew. so now on to what i wanted to show y'all um the way this is how i revive my wig so i just did it to this wig i don't usually do it to wigs i get from companies don't ask me why i just don't but these are my two favorite products that I use on my wigs as of lately. So you got the Bio Silk um, shampoo. Um, they have a conditioner too, but I never used it. But I use the oil. If you that girl and you've been doing wigs, you know about the Bio Silk oil. You know about that. So try this out. One of the best shampoo. I will never use another shampoo. What I use another? I don't know. But I'm a. This was a lot of money. This was. This was. 15 ounces from Marshall, so yeah. Then you got um, the Paul Mitchell Extra Strength Conditioner. I got this from one of these beauty supply stores, but as you can see, I like cracked it. Don't ask me how, I literally just squeezed it and it cracked. I didn't like that, but these two together, along with the Climax Silkening Serum, you put this on your hair, you put like a down size, so a little bit more than a down size, because I'm extra. Um, in your hands and you apply it all over the damp wig of course you detangle it first apply it over the damp wig yo and then you put the gloss me or yana zone um flat ironing silk and mess whatever i'll be using together crazy so i'm about to show y'all um i'm pretty much i'm not gonna talk y'all through the whole thing but i'm gonna just show y'all basically what i use how i use it and how all this looks so you see how this looks now looks a bit dry you can't even see the true color like it's brown but it's not showing the saturation of how brown it is on camera for whatever reason like ew um but y'all see it in the pictures and videos and stuff like that so 
brown wig we're going to revive this i'm probably not going to um dry it tonight i'm definitely going to sit in a conditioner for sure tonight so i'm gonna do that tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna put them both in the dryer and style them before i go so one wig is already ready and then the next wig is you know you know so let's take care of these wigs i also have to take my wig off let me just show y'all what i be using too because i don't think i'm gonna show y'all me taking my wig off um, I use the coconut milk. I'm over here saying argument. That's probably what my best friend didn't know what I was talking about. The coconut milk, um, what is this? Anti-break itch serum, whatever. I use this and um, my alcohol is in the bathroom, the other one, but I use that on my edges. So I'm about to put this on my edges. I'm going to be very generous though because I literally have to wear this again. So I got to make sure it's not, not oily. And um, I only do that to protect my edges because you know when you take your wigs off with alcohol, it could dry your edges out, you know, pull it out. We don't want that. So I try to oil them up first and then um, I take the alcohol and just take the wig off. So the girls needed some tips. I'm about to sit down real quick so I could show y'all what I got from Zara. Now y'all know me. I Every time I go to the mall, I go for things. Anytime I go anywhere I'm supposed to be shopping at, I go for one, two things. I didn't even get no damn makeup wipes. I'm gonna have to go back outside. It's okay, I'm gonna go back outside later. Um, Y'all, so I went for a few things, left with more, but, hold on, but, okay? I feel like it was worth it, okay? Let's do a quick haul. Everything I'm showing y'all is from Zara. I got these rain boots in a size 38 cause y'all know my feet a little big. Um, but these is so fun. Look at these boots. They are so nice to me. Like some nice rain boots. And I never owned a pair of rain boots in my life. So this is cute. My first pair of rain boots. And I love brown. So everything goes. Plus on one of my next drops. Actually not one of my next drops. My next drop. Um, I'm going to have an item that's going to match this perfectly. So I can't wait to show y'all that. For sure it's still kind of cold. Okay. So yeah I got these boots. But look, y'all, when I tried them on in the store, um, I had took two pairs, but I took one of the wrong pair. And I'm so happy the lady said something while I was still in the store because they had mismatched, like, boots. And I put one of the boots on, and it was real tight. And I don't know if this was the boot. I don't know if this is the boot. One was a 37, one was a 38. But anyways, these boots really um, normally retail for $80. I almost called y'all bees. I'm trying not to curse so much on this uh, yeah, YouTube platform. $30. I swear to God. I just popped the tag. I got them for $30. This is why you, sometimes you just got to go on Zara. You never know what you might find, sweetie. So, look. Let me put them on so I can show y'all. I tried them on in the store. Boom. So cute. Too cute. So, yeah, I got these. $30. $30. Bam. Should I start and make this so cute before the video? Y'all, it's gonna take me so long to take this boot off. Like, it's like it's suction on the inside. Like, it's nothing to slip my foot in, but to take my feet out, it's like they're like, please don't go. Girl, get off me. Okay, got these off though. So bad, we got those. I also got these cute pair of clear heels. These are fifty dollars. Um, I know y'all probably like, damn girl, you cheap. I'm actually not cheap. I just spend more money on things that are more serious, like rent, car payment, my bills. I don't play with my bills. But it, honestly, what the hell am I talking? About? It don't matter. It don't matter. One thing about me, I'm gonna spend money on design and I'm gonna spend money on cheap things, the cheapest of the cheap that you could think. I thought about it like, wait, I don't gotta explain myself to nobody, but you know, sometimes you just feel like if you not drip down in designer, people gonna like look at you funny. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to have that mentality. Sometimes I still do be feeling like that, but for the most part, I'd be like, what? Do if people knew how much money? Not that I, I feel like I'm over explaining myself, but not that people have to like know my business or it really doesn't matter to be honest but i don't know i just hate when i feel like somebody trying to play with me and i know most people don't even be thinking about it like that but it's always somebody that does and a part of it is like me wanting to buy you know certain things but i feel like i'm i'm more of a person to invest in my craft 
like that's more my thing honestly people nowadays make you feel like if you're not drip down a designer then you're not fly or you're not you know whatever case may be and like i said i used to think that a lot too not even really if you wasn't in designer that you're not fly but like when you're held up to a certain standard, people just expect you to have these things. But I feel like everybody spends money on what they want to spend their money on, you know? And obviously, sometimes I do have to tell myself, like, yo, if you want to get shoes from Aldo, go get shoes from Aldo. If you want to get a bag from Aldo, go to Aldo. If you want to go to Steve Madden, if you want to go to Zara, which I feel like everybody shop at Zara. I feel like everybody shop at all these stores, but sometimes people be trying to be funny about these stores, too. Um, if you want to shop at all of those stores, you want to shop at Louis Vuitton, you want to shop at Prada, you want to... Spend your money on what you want to spend your money on, honey. Okay, we're not keeping up with nobody's Joneses. The Joneses could go to hell. Okay, they can go to hell. I'm going to spend my money on what I want to spend my money on. But I'm just saying that for the girls who, you know, have that mindset and be worried about that sometimes. And like I said, I'm just like, y'all, sometimes I do feel like, damn, like, I spend so much money on everything else. I have almost every hair product you could think of. Almost every hair tool you could think of. Like, I have some of the most expensive equipment, laptop, bills are separate. I'm just talking about all this, you know, extraness. And sometimes I do want to treat myself to more luxurious things. And I was like that at a point in time, but that was mostly when my family was funding it. Like when I, my parents was buying me stuff. And then when I had to start from scratch, because before, I'm not going to lie, I was a very, very true religion, juicy couture, never full. All of that, all of that. I was all of that. All of that, I was super proud of my parents. But then when I had to stop buying my own shit, hold oh on. Then I had to get my own job. It was a little bit of a little bit. And then when I finally really started getting money, child, I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm telling you. Anyways, it's not about that. But I just wanted to put that out there for anybody who just feel like, you know, damn, maybe I should have got a bigger size than these. I gotta stop. Sometimes I think I'm in denial about my shoe size too, but that's another story. Is anybody else in denial about their shoe size sometimes? Because I feel like I am, girl. I'm not walking around with no big, doofy ass shoes, and my toes are not cute, so I'm gonna show y'all these through the mirror. But I think they're so cute, and then I'm about to drop soon. I don't have a pair of clear heels. Well, I do, but they have too much on them. So I'm about to drop soon, and I just felt like these would be the perfect pair to wear with some of the things that I don't have like a full outfit for or I'm just like modeling you know but yeah I got these they are so cute oh I'm supposed to be safe I wasn't even supposed to buy this stuff but I felt like a lot of these things I needed and I wasn't just like ooh 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 rain boots technically don't need me but I don't have a pair of rain boots and they was $30 so I just bought that off impulse the shoes definitely needed a clear pair of hose for this drop this next item I'm about to show you probably one of those items I did not need but they was $10 like I bought this little peacoat jacket it's like a mini mini peacoat jacket this was $50 and um i honestly was looking for a nice tan light coat because the only other coat i have that's like light damn maybe i should have got the black but it's okay um but it's my two varsity jackets that i have they're so fire i know y'all see me wear them down like mad times but i need just a nice little coat so i got this little jacket i got my clothes you're big looking real cute besides this side it's humpy in. but anyways Tell me this jacket is not cute. This jacket is too damn cute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Look at how cute this jacket is. Come on now. Let me back up. Tell me this is not a nice, sophisticated jacket. This how the back look. Regular back. The material is not thin at all. Obviously, it came from Zara. Um, it's not super thick, though. So, it's exactly what you think it is. Nice color. I feel like it's coming off lighter on camera. It's a bit more, like, I want to say khaki, but... Do these pockets work? Are these buttons or yeah? Got some deep pockets. This is so cute. Put your keys in there. This is cute. With some nice leggings. Wow. Nice top. This is so cute. And this definitely gives me full with a nice sweater. I probably should have considered, even though I have on a sweater now, but I have on a light sweater. I think I should have considered maybe getting a medium for sweater purposes. But I don't think I'm gonna be wearing heavy sweaters with this because it's not a coat. It's literally exactly what it is. So wear long sleeve something under here. Some nice leggings, nice jeans. Boom. Then I just had to get these. They was literally ten dollars. Um, they was usually thirty dollars, but they was on sale for ten. And they're just these regular cute legging pants. I just think these are so cute because I know once I put these, I'm not gonna put them on now because y'all sweating real bad. I ain't gonna do that. But when I put these on, if I'm not thicker than Ari. You are lie. 
You a lie. You is a lie. If I'm not thinking it, Ari and East, I'm sending them back. Sending them back because that's what they give me. Like, nice to do around the house, running quick airs, like something cute. Home. I could even wear them with the rainbows, but <laughs> don't let me go outside of these. Don't let me. <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror like, don't let me go outside with those because, you know, some guy, well, I'm so delusional, right? I'm leaving them all. Some guy like, oh my God, Beyonce, that I woke up to me. I was like, I gotta go for stuff. <laughs> Cause y'all know B, B's in the mall. Like, I was in the flesh, y'all. I was scared for my life. They started noticing me. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. Like, I be trying to be in the disguise, and it's just like everybody's like, you know. Anyway, child, um, I have two wigs to do. So, I gotta do, I'm redoing that um, black wig for sure. So, I'm about to just, um, I'm pretty much going to straighten that wig and just keep it regular. This other wig, um, I do have to curl. I have to, what do I have to do? Oh my god, I didn't get to show y'all the damn wigs. All right, look. I barely touched them, but this is how they look um, after I wash conditioned it. And, um, all that good stuff look how bouncy and nice this and it smells great it smells great the shampoo smells great and that conditioner i showed y'all smells better honestly does it smell better they both smell really good if you um bio silk has this smell but i don't i think it kind of smells close to the bio silk oil and you know that smells good so that's good and then the um if you use the paul mitchell conditioners i'm not sure if all of them smell the same but i use the hot pink one First of all, the, one of the main reasons why I love the Paul Mitchell conditioner is because it smells good and it gives the same effect of the silicone conditioner. It just smells better and to me personally, it's just better. That's just personal opinion, but y'all know, I, okay, I be getting in on them products, so I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm not going to play with y'all, but look y'all, so bouncy, so cute. I'm going to straighten this and then I'm going to roll it up, put it in a pack so um, I can change looks. So that's going to work out. And then I have this brown wig that I showed y'all yesterday that I washed. Look, bouncy. Let me get it up close. Like, it looks so good. I think, because they both a little still, oh yeah, this one is damp. Um, I'm going to let these dry. Is, is this one damp? But maybe because it was sitting next to the other one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sit them in my dryer because... Um, I have an overhead dryer, but it don't turn upside down, unfortunately. So I usually sit it on my chair and just um, throw wigs or bundles in there, and it dries super quick, like 15 minutes. So I think I'm going to put this in there for about 10 minutes. I really don't want to take too long. Put this in there for 10 minutes, and then leave the other one just in there so it could dry. I'm going to style this one, style the other one, get ready to put that back on. And y'all, I'm trying this look. Let me, I'm going to enter the look right here. Tell me this look not fire. Tell me this look is not fire. So I'm going to try to redo that look. I never did a look like that before. So I'm excited and I think it's gonna go with the look I'm trying to wear with the only problem is for one of the looks I don't have a top and I really wish I did because it's kind of giving I can't explain y'all y'all would just have to see but Anyways, let me get started. I just got back in the house and y'all seen how late I went to sleep last time for my flight. So I'm really trying to be in bed way before 12. I honestly feel like I'm going to be in bed way before 12 to be realistic. Unless I start like cleaning up and stuff, which I still feel like I'll have enough time to go to sleep before 12. I just got to work. So um, I'm going to let those dry. And um, I guess I don't really think y'all care to see me fly ironing. Like y'all see me do that all the time. So um, I guess y'all just see me after I finish my next and stuff. Y'all can just let me know what the girls think. So yeah. Y'all, so, well, I look crazy, y'all. I'm just, I'm over here packing, right? I didn't even get to do the wigs, y'all. I decided while they're drying, drying I'm gonna pack my clothes. So once I finish that, I don't really have nothing to do with, like, my black ass. Anyways, y'all, so while I'm over here packing and I'm packing my shoes and stuff, and I'm like, could I even walk? Y'all, I barely can walk in heels. I'm getting so much better. I'm not a heels girl. I'm just now becoming a heels girl. Don't get me wrong, back when or whenever. I'm gonna put a heel on when I need to, but if it's a choice, before I wasn't really feeling that. But now I don't have a choice, okay? So, cause I'm 25, I'm grown now. Remember when I was telling y'all? So, I gotta try to practice walking in these hills, and I feel like y'all gonna be so weak, cause these ones, I'm not gonna lie, I did a little walking, I'm doing my thing or whatever, I'm still in my hills right now, I want to show y'all, and I'm doing my little thing, but the next, y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I gotta get these pictures for y'all, but I don't know what I'm gonna do, so let's see, these boots are both from Fashion Nova, they are thigh high boots, they are so cute, I got on sweat, so they might look like dumb, but so cute, as 
to a fashion over because at least if I'm going to test the heels, I'm going to wear heels, I'm not about to go all out yet. Yet. I got to learn how to walk in them. Because what was that? What are this? Do it look like I'm trying it? Let me... But I feel like I'm literally floating. Like, I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. These are the cutest, so I'm going to have to figure it out. But y'all, let me see if I could get a... Oh, these are actually not that bad when I walk. Okay. Not terrible when I walk. I just feel like I'm slipping. And then it's like... When it comes to hair, I don't know if it's because of my pants, my sweats. I feel like it won't allow me to fully bend my knees. Like, it's like, I could do, but for a good 10 minutes. You get in the only 10 minutes. The other ones, I feel like, I just might feel like I could keep those on all night. At least 75% of the night, for sure. These, the first quarter. The first quarter, take them off. She's coming off. Y'all, I feel like I'm doing a foot leg workout. Anyways. um, Yeah, so I have to finish packing. Because y'all want to see me walking heels so bad. So I have to show y'all. Like, Anyways. Um... Yeah, I gotta finish it, but I just wanted to show y'all real quick because your girl is about to put that shit on. Okay? Period. Can't do that. Alright. Yo, why are you really out here looking like somebody mother? This gives a noise real cute, but I'm looking very grown with this baby. I'm not gonna about this. I'm on the way to the airport. Of and Atlanta traffic is doing me in right now. I'm probably like, how far does this area? 27 minutes away. I was 39 minutes away. Very annoying. But, um, it's going, y'all. I want to get written up for copyright, so I'll be back. It's such a great day today. For sure. So guys, I was feeling like I looked a little old in the airport. Do you mind if I put you on camera? No. He thinks I look, I look beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> in your own special way. In my own, in your special, own special way. way. Always. 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 Period. You heard him. That's, that's, the, that's how we do it. That's how, that's we, how do we do it. it. Period. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm living right now. I love it. I love it. That's Thank safe. you so much. I appreciate it. You gotta stay present. Uh huh. You gotta live every present moment. Right. If you're not doing that, then what the hell are you doing? This is you're what I'm living. saying. You're Only got living. one life to live, yeah. so you gotta live it, dress it, put it on, <laughs> put it on your head. Exactly. <laughs> Period. Thank you. What are you saying, girl? <laughs> <laughs> 
I tell mama that I don't have more headphones and she proceeds to sing so loud. I'm not doing this. No. You see what I'm saying? Oh, hi. How's your name? What's your name, beautiful? You look like Beyonce. Oh, hold on. Can you smile, please? No. I just want to sing the song. You said I'm the song. Hello? Did you mute your phone? Why would you hang up? Why did you hang up with me? I didn't hang up with you. What's love got to do? Got to do it. Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? Okay, I cannot finish my program. No, that's clearly not going to happen. It is something how person just jump on top of me. Hey, yo, get out. <laughs> uh, is it the people? Are they coming? Is the baby coming? I hear a door. Y'all yeah, need to help your, your grandma back. Oh, I forgot she's coming. Yeah, at that black gate, yes, yes, yes. Somebody calling down the stairs or shipping over nothing. So that's what you're gonna do when you think about that? Just stay in place? Huh? So you're just gonna stay in place? Yes, that's what I have children for. It's a couple. One could do this, one could do that. That's why you have a lot. That's sad. <laughs> what? Your kids are your mates. They're open. I told you that was them. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, 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 bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Y'all, we bought it madly. I've been here for three hours. I'm and I just... dreaming of a wife. Ma. Just like the one I used to know. Hey, my dear passenger traveling to Houston on flight 1363 when I was out of service today. Please have your boarding passes out and ready to be scanned. We are boarding all roads and all zones. Once again, if you are in any zone, you do not have a carry-on bag included. You must have your bag before boarding the I went to the bathroom, came back. The line was basically at TSA. Seriously. I've been here for three hours. Okay. And then they boarding so late. Late, huh? Okay. Love you. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I've been here for mad long. I'm tired. And we were supposed to be in the air by now. He's technically supposed to be on a plane by 6 11. It's 6 56. And we were supposed to be taking off at 6 40 something. And we're still in line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh my god, I didn't know you was going to be vlogging as soon as the touchdown shit. Yeah. <laughs> you told me to come ready, so I, I did. did. I mean, you didn't come ready, but you. I ready. did. No, well, okay, not yeah. ready, ready, but I'm yeah. ready. At least the hair in the, the face. The hair in the face is ready. Thank you. The hair in the face ain't ready. The triple threat is here with good. Like I know where I'm going. Like that. He was still in. Uh, you know, what you got, boo? I got this little pillow or whatever. This is mine. <laughs> Boy. It's like, y'all, I was sweating. When I tell y'all I was sweating, good thing I don't stink. Don't tell me what to do. Ooh. Thank you. We are on air. Not just a fella. I was hella cold. I'm standing in front of the, the camera. <laughs> You like a mukbang? <laughs> that was me. We're talking about, I'm so light. I'm so sorry, y'all. We're a little drunk. Ranch versus blue tree. Yeah, we are all kind of drunk. 
Yeah. Ranch versus blue cheese. Whose hair is this on my chicken? What's it got done? Hold up. That's the chicken hair. Oh, they ain't clean the hair. He's still gonna eat it though. I am. It is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. I took the hair off. <laughs> Because, because I don't want to shit no more. <laughs> I do shit, I eat it. They eat this. Why? They're a little rough. They are, I'm like, fuck, I ate all the flies. You can't stop too much. Why did I eat this? Okay, my shot. She said, okay. She said, what did that happen to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They go through that thing. He's a little gay. We're gonna watch some baddies in the yeah. reunion. Yo, we were just talking about how we are so mad at, um, what's her name, Biggie? Biggie. Bi my name is Biggie. Oh my god. And I am from Go Island. <laughs> and y'all gonna stop playing with me and I'm Dominican. Yeah, because, yeah, because, yeah, so good. Hey, what are you doing? We got shut, shut up. Doing too much. <laughs> Biggie yeah. needs to sit down. Cause this is not the show for you, baby. I don't like that. Oh, I don't see control. Picture me. So what happened? How the, how the bottles gonna be in Houston? Cause they just don't care, so they just be like. <laughs> <laughs> I can be stomach to be out so like. Hey. Like, they don't care at all. Like they don't care at all. Like they don't it don't matter what they're so playing like. <laughs> and they just be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care at all, like, they don't matter what the scenario is. Hey, wait, wait, what song you say you can do it to? They say it could be any song, so it could be like, yeah, <laughs> it's a party in the U.S. <laughs> like, it don't matter, like, it could be shake that ass, bitch. <laughs> it's a party in the U.S. <laughs> it doesn't matter what song is playing, they're always going to come out doing their thing, like. <laughs> I ain't yeah. no spring chicken anymore. Wait, oh, but y'all, let me say how Najee almost got to a fight. Oh my god. Najee almost got to a fight and we almost jumped this girl. Y'all, so let me give y'all a little backstory. I never seen none of my friends fight, and none of my friends ever seen me fight in the years of us being friends. I swear to God, it's just so weird. We're always like distant, whatever. Some girl, I guess, pushed Neji while she was about to fight some other girl. Neji was feeling that. Okay. So Neji was telling me <laughs> after the fact while we were still in the parking lot. No, so I, I wanted to smoke. No, first, no. What happened? What happened? I started going off. Neji, like, oh yeah, well you was going off, okay. What happened? What happened? She wanted all the smoke, y'all. Who? 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 What's on the cam? Miss Mama's on the cam. She wanted all and the smoke. And might have. Behind me, as she shut up. And might. No, I wanted the smoke because I didn't know. I didn't fully know what was going on, but I she thought. Was, I thought it was smoke with Neji. That's I all. I just thought it was smoke with Neji. Because if you know, I don't go off with nothing. <laughs> we don't. We don't even like. Confrontation to be honest, yourself. but I guess she no, I'm not a guess. She pushed yeah. Neji, yeah, and she pushed Neji to try okay. to get to the other girl, and Neji was a feeling that. And Neji was talking her shit like while it was happening and stuff, but everything is going on, like nobody's nothing. So I'm just seeing Neji hype. Next thing you know, that girl just like she was just Everybody's bugging, so that just makes it worse. yeah. And then Neji was talking about shit in the car, and she was just talking about like what was going on and how it happened. And I was just getting mad, so I just got out the car and I walked over there. And, and, and I was trying to see what's up, but the security guard was like, No, this, that, and the third, this, that, and the third. And a deep piece of me did not want to like start no confrontation, but the fact that you tried to get crazy with my friend just don't sit right with me, and the fact that I'm the overprotective friend and didn't catch that pissed me off even worse. So, y'all, let me tell y'all, we ain't get to fight nobody or nothing, but it was crazy. And then they walked in with a, um, uh-huh, they walked in with a Blakey in the spot. Well, these girls started fighting. I think one of the girls cut the other girl in her face because her face was gushing. Like, her face looked real bad. And then somebody walked in the spot with, a, like, an AK. 
I'm like, oh, y'all bugging. Yeah, so we bugging. left. It was just crazy. Are we have fun now? <laughs> we have fun now, y'all. Be safe. Don't be in drama. And I'm just telling y'all the real because y'all my cousins. And that's how I feel. But Philip trying to go to sleep. I'm going to be sleep before Najee touches. <laughs> Look at my camera, look away. I said, oh, man. <laughs> he said, here she go with this camera <laughs> shit. There we go. Mm, so <laughs> what is it? What's my stuff? He don't want to be on the camera with, with his head out. He I don't want my head out on camera. Exactly. camera. You want my bonnet? Can I get the bonnet? What is wrong with you? Nachi, you this nah this couch is so convenient. Oh. It's just it just works. Like, <laughs> like get your friend. <laughs> Why did he got my <laughs> shoes on? Get him uh, I don't know what's wrong. Cause I'm like you're bending. His <laughs> <laughs> big ass fucking feet. The back of shit's gonna be flat by something. <laughs> you can do it to this song. Let me see some of my hair. Wait, let me start it away. Oh, wait, do it again? I can't hear it. Could you do the dance to that song? Hold on. Moravisha, 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 ah, Moravisha, ah, Moravisha, ah, Moravisha, Moravisha, ah. <laughs> she said, you're forgetting boobs. <laughs> I said, Yo, oh, I I <laughs> Yo, What is wrong with Philip Coakley? Co what the fuck? Pop, 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 I don't know that nigga, I just seen them on the town before I can't be up in her face, I took her nigga down for When I lose a nigga, I just pop out and go find some more Soon as I feel like my time get wasted, then it's time to go They say they don't fuck with me, but I say they can't fuck with me Just like the air, I'm everywhere, how you say it's so me? Them bitches should've stayed down, they could've been up to me But all they doing is talking down, cause they can't get up with me My ain't fucking on my old friend, but they had some fucking clowns Thinking that she got one up on me, she got my hammer down He thought he won't gon' have to stand on shit like he was handicapped, made that nigga stand on it. Now his death can't stand me now. Has fuck, I'm lit, yup. I don't smoke no sweet shit. Slam with my gang and milk, looking them like sisters. These bitches be letting they go. I said about these niggas. I, I don't wanna hang with them, they don't have no business. They be going anything, but I can't go for none of them. Why would I go chase you if I know you gon' come running back? Cut that bad, it got that even feeling yeah, like a lump. They really get me super spontaneous for an absolutely no reason. Yeah. And it's where um, y'all yeah. remember when we was in Miami, y'all? It got magic tattoos. We always doing that something. Oh, this is perfect. Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, mama. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. She said I like your coat. <laughs> she said, "What was I doing for Hi, mama. What's up? <laughs> She said, where you from? Right. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. yeah Out of all of the tattoos on my neck, I really expected that to hurt worse. They really don't hurt that bad here. Yeah. I guess it depends on who's doing it, really. I have like three, four. Did man do it? Yeah. Oh, 
um, kitty soft part. Really? It's like so, I literally, I did my rib, I did my neck, I did my shoulder blade, my spine, all of it. And it's like, I'm used to the needle, but it's like, I thought it was going to hurt way worse. So I'm happy, I'm satisfied. A few moments later. Philip didn't tell the guy. No, I dead ass told the guy. You told him? He didn't listen. I told him before I sat down, I said, I want red ink. He's doing a tattoo. I look... I look at like the cloth, you know when he Yeah. So I look and I see it's black. I said it's red ink, right? He's like, Oh, bad, you didn't say bro. you wanted red. First of all, who just puts tattoos and not even hear a color or what they want? Like why would you even <laughs> just assume it's black anyway? No, never, that ass though. If you didn't hear me say it was red, you damn sure didn't hear me say it was black. Yeah. So why wouldn't you and ask? Like, yeah. I don't like that. That really pissed me off. Nah, for the all just it's mad funny, but it's really serious at the same time because he clearly said it. Mm. I didn't know you said it though. That's the thing. You yeah, just said you said it, so I'm like, trying yeah. to argue him. I was so mad, I'm just like, I'm not even trying to do too Phillip much. said I'm never doing this like, shit again. Let I mean, me it doesn't look bad. No, it looks good. Look at Phillips. It looks good. But that's just not what he asks for As far as color But he likes the size He likes the font It's just the color That's not what he asks for And it's just like I'd rather a bigger font in red Than like a smaller and black Because I didn't want black Yeah That just really got to me Oh my god I love I feel so bad Moody I'm so Oh uh, my Philip Let's go back in there And fuck them up Philip <laughs> said I'm not even <laughs> Oh my god. I was weak because we couldn't laugh. See, the guy that did my shit, he almost did my shit black. He did? He did because I asked him, I was like, oh, um, you forgot how to make sure what y'all was doing. And then when I asked him, I was like, okay, I was like, yeah, I want my red. He said, you want yours in red? I was like, yeah, he's like, you know, it's going to be a little extra. I was like, okay, that's Wait, how much you sent him? 50. How much you sent? I sent 50. I sent 40. <laughs> Philip said, oh, "What? How you, how I I said, did you get it? She said, yeah, I got it.' No, I'm saying, why is all our prices? He different? told me fifty. He told me fifty. She didn't even tell me. I just went off of. I thought I didn't want to ask in front of. I didn't want to ask in front of them. Damn, you should have. Because I'm like, I don't want to ask, asked, and y'all said forty, and then I was no, about to you pay fifty. Asked, we talked about it because I asked him direct. I'm like, how much? He was like, who did it? I was like, the guy. He was like fifty. Damn. But I asked her too. She didn't say nothing. I was like, did you get it? She said, yeah, I got it. It's too much going on, y'all. Philip is pissed, yo. I'm getting it removed. Philip is getting it laser removed, y'all. Philip is pissed. Because why he's saying that you said you didn't tell him when you said he did? He's lying. When you lay down, I went to him, I said, yeah, and I told him, I said, red. And you said it out loud. I said it loud, and he was sitting right there. I guess he wasn't listening. Like, so while he's doing it, you know when they use, like, the napkin to tap the thing. So I looked at the napkin, and I saw it was black. So I said, it's red, right? And he was like, oh. Fuck you think somebody want black? Like I never even why like. Why would you just assume that, somebody that you want black? black? Like, oh my how you gonna god! Say I didn't hear red, but you damn sure didn't hear black because black did not come out like that. So I don't even know why would you even do that? Like that's mad embarrassing. Like, it's just when like, I tell y'all we was trying so hard too, like, not to laugh. We was trying so hard my head not to laugh. My is already laugh. hurting. Like, <laughs> so I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm annoyed. He I'm said so I'm so annoyed. Me. And you know what's crazy? He came up to me. He said I'm pissed. I was like, wait, what? Happened? He did. He, he did like, the same like, thing. I was like, wait, for real? And I looked. I was like, what? And the guy. And, and the guy. Oh, he comes. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. He did. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Like, it's okay. It's okay. He said, don't worry about it. He said, okay. it's okay. I knew the way he was saying it. I knew he was tight. No, facts. Uh, what a week, y'all. What a week. I literally just got home and just got out the shower. I was, yo. First of all, why all, when you come to the airport in Atlanta, right? In case you don't know already, you have to take a train to get from the gates to um, baggage claim or to your um, terminal, whatever the case may be. So in my case, of course, I'm going from my terminal to um which call it i said terminal i'm going for my gate to um which call it to domestic baggage claim so i was supposed to take the train but all the trains were broken let me explain something to y'all real quick 
because I cannot believe I just had to do all of this. All of the trains were broken. To walk through Atlanta airport is a whole workout by itself. It's a whole workout by itself. We had to walk from the gates to domestic. Some of y'all already feel me. If you don't feel me, it takes about probably almost 20 minutes just to walk. To domestic, to get your bag. Oh my God. Then I had on my big tech coach. I was hot, but I was walking that thing. Like I, said. I was walking looking cute. I was like, period. Like, anyways, y'all. Then, oh my God, I had to take an Uber. I'm not even that far from the airport, y'all. My Uber is $80. I said, of course, of course, of course. Flight was delayed an hour. I said, of course, of course. You know how certain things just keep happening back to back and you just like, yeah, what else could happen, right? Of course, of course it's going to happen to me. Y'all, I was going through it tonight. I'm not going to lie, but I'm happy I made it home. I'm happy I made it safe. I'm happy y'all have so much content, y'all. I'm happy I was able to give y'all a good vlog. So I hope y'all enjoyed and everything like that. Ciao. Like I said, I took my shower. If you know, you know. Then you know what I'm about to do. Okay. Besides that, love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, loves. See y'all in the next vlogs. And you better be back. Know them horses have to give me, they don't hold me down. Know me now. Act like you don't know me now.